Hi, my name is Mike Mahan from the SMA Solar Academy. In this tech tip, we're going to cover the commissioning process of the Sunny Boy US41 line of inverters. The Sunny Boy US41 is SMA's residential line of inverters that includes an integrated SunSpec certified rapid shutdown transmitter, as well as SMA's proprietary shade fix optimization technology. Before starting the commissioning process, ensure the inverter is correctly wired, the connection unit cover is secured with the display board ribbon cable securely attached, both AC and DC power should be switched on to the inverter. The three LEDs will illuminate for approximately 90 seconds, and then the display will begin to cycle. Note that the inverter firmware version is visible on the second screen with the name package. Commissioning of the inverter is required if using the cellular modem kit, the revenue grade meter kit, or the sensor module accessory, or utilizing the integrated SunSpec rapid shutdown transmitter. Commissioning is performed through the inverter self-hosted graphical user interface. For more information about accessing the user interface, please see the Accessing the Sunny Boy US41 user interface tech tip video. For this video, we will access the user interface via the direct Wi-Fi method. Join the device doing the commissioning to the inverter's self-hosted Wi-Fi network. The network name is SMA, all caps, followed by the device 10-digit serial number, no spaces, from the connection unit label. The password for this network is SMA12345, all caps, no spaces, for 10 hours or until the original commissioning is finished. Then it permanently changes to the 16-digit code, case-sensitive, shown after the label WPA2-PSK on the connection unit label. Note that this code also appears on the back cover of the installation manual. Once the network has been joined, open a web browser and enter 192.168.12.3 in the address bar and press Enter. You may see a security warning regarding the site certificate. Proceed past this warning to connect to the site. At the login screen of the user interface, select the appropriate language, Select the installer user group and enter the password. At the first login, you'll be prompted to create a password as there is no default. You'll be asked to confirm the password. Based on the firmware version, you may see specific password requirements. Click login when done. The screen you see at the first login will provide three options for configuring the inverter. Selecting configuration with the installation assistant is appropriate in most cases. After choosing configuration with the installation assistant, you will see a screen with several tabs at the top. The number of tabs will depend on the installed accessories. For this example, there are no accessories installed in the Sunny Boy. For instructions on the proper configuration with the cellular modem or revenue grade meter kits, please see their respective tech tips. The first screen shows the status of the local area network connections, Ethernet and WLAN. IP addresses assigned by a router will be shown if those connections are active. If adjustments to the wired connection need to be made, that can be done on the Ethernet tab. If an external Wi-Fi network is to be joined, select the WLAN tab. The wheel icon under settings to the right of the appropriate network can be selected, the WLAN settings item selected, and then the password can be manually entered and connect to WLAN selected. Shortly after, the status for WLAN at the top of this tab will change to connection establishment, then status will change to a green check mark followed by connected, and then the IP address of the inverter for that connection will also be shown. If using the cellular modem accessory, there will be a cellular tab to the right of the WLAN tab on screen one. Refer to the tech tip, Cellular Modem Kit Installation and Commissioning, for instructions on how to commission the Cellular Modem Kit accessory. Click on Save and Next at the bottom right of this screen when done. Screen two is Time and Date. If desired, select Off for automatic time synchronization and manually set the correct time and date and time zone. This allows all event log messages to have the correct date and time before connecting to the internet. Click Save and Next when done. The date and time shown in the lower right of the window will update to the selected time. Screen three is country standard. If adjustment from the default UL1741 slash 2016 slash 120 is needed, select from the pull down menu under set country standard. Note that the choices ending in 120 L-N-L are for 240 split phase or 120 208Y connections. Those ending in 208 or 240L-L are only for 208 or 240 Delta connections respectively. Select Save and Next when done. Screen four is Safety Function. Select the appropriate method for rapid shutdown compliance. Note that if using the SunSpec certified rapid shutdown transmitter, select SunSpec shutdown and not TS4 shutdown. Select Save and Next when done. Screen five is RS-485 configuration. The two choices labeled Module Slot 1 and Module Slot 2 refer to the two module expansion slots on the communications board of the Sunny Boy. If using the revenue grade meter kit or cellular modem kit, information about the board plugged into the appropriate slot should appear after the colon. 
If using the RGM kit, select Energy Meter from the pull-down menu for that slot. Select Save and Next when done. Screen 6 is Meter Configuration. If the Revenue Grade Meter Kit is being used, select SMA Revenue Grade Meter from the pull-down menu under Energy Meters Used. Otherwise, no changes need to be made. Select Save and Next when done. Screen 7 is Grid Management Service. Unless instructed otherwise, leave the default settings on both tabs of this screen unchanged. Choose Save and Next. If the Rooftop Communication Kit Phase 2 is installed, there will be a Modular Technology Configuration tab next. If the Sensor Module Accessory is installed, there will be two tabs labeled SO Interface and Temperature Irradiation after that. In this example, neither is installed, so those tabs do not appear. The last configuration tab is String Configuration. When turned on, the inverter will begin to monitor production from its active inputs and can provide error messages if their relative production drops dramatically. The last tab is a summary of the selections that have been made. Review all choices for accuracy. At the bottom of this screen, you may export the summary screen contents or export all parameters as an HTML file. When done, select Continue to finish the commissioning. If you access the user interface through the inverter's self-hosted Wi-Fi, you will see a notification that the default password is now disabled and you will be disconnected from the device. Rejoin the network using the WPA2-PSK code on the CU label as the password and log back into the user interface to see the home screen. Starting from the user interface home screen, the inverter smart screen is enabled by selecting it from the pull-down menu under the person icon. Once enabled, the first screen seen when accessing the inverter's user interface is no longer the login screen, but a summary screen. This allows the system owner to see the Sunny Boy production and status locally without the need to log into the user interface. With the inverter smart screen enabled, logging into the user interface can be performed by selecting login at the top right corner. Commissioning of the Sunny Boy is now complete. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the commissioning process for the Sunny Boy US41 inverter. If you'd like to learn more, please visit the product page at sma-america.com. My name is Mike Mahan from the Solar Academy. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.